Hello everyone. Today I would like to show you the tutorial how can we create the invisibility clock program in Python code. So beforehand, I would like to explain to you about the more explanation will be done in the next chapter. So in this chapter we will just write in the code and then having very brief or short description of it. If you have more question or some curiosity about this, so just please just uh, put it comment below and then I will try to answer one by one. All right, so the concept of this uh, invisibility clock is basically we would like to determine the color first about the clock that we would like to use and the second one, the main the py will run the algorithm to, uh, to separate the mask, the background, and also the color from your clock. Okay, so to be done first, we need to create some of the dynamic uh, program to determine the color of our clock that we would like to use. So basically it's not static, we can use any kind of the color of, our, of the clock itself. For example, later, I will use the green uh, clock. Or, or any clothes or any kind of uh, that you want to cover your, your body or you want to make a, uh, the clock is invisible so I will try to write a code we call that as a determine.py to do that so I will try to uh, using some libraries like um, OpenCV so first of all you need to uh, install pip install um, python OpenCV I will try to uh, leave it in the description below how to install CV2 or OpenCV using the command line. Okay, so first we need to import the CV2 and then also um, because we want to make it more dynamic, so I will uh, create something like a parse to be called from the command line so that um, we can um, make it more dynamic. Okay, so as the usual, we can use the callback value here. All right, so and then okay, so first of all, I would like to make it a setup uh, track bars. So the track bars are basically we can set up the colors uh, to adjust the the color code or to adjust the uh, the range of the color that we would like to set into the clock itself. So I put it like setup underscore track bars here. Okay, mm. and then the input parameters uh, uh, range filters. <clears throat> okay, all right. So I would like to make a, a pop-up windows, so I can use this uh, CV2 library and also make it uh, named uh, so this one window. And also I name uh, the window is the track bars. You can name it as you want, and I'll set it zero. Start it from the zero, and then okay. So I'll try to make it uh, looping between. Uh, can I say it's like a minimum and the maximum? So this means so we can set the track bars, uh, the minimum and the maximum value. So okay. So there, there are two points. The 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 left one is the minimum. So if you uh, try to drag the the bar into the right one and then the, the maximum value so and then we start from zero if i is equal with the min okay and then for the maximum one we set is 255 because it's uh, the maximum uh, bit value for the color and also instead of that one we can run uh, the track bar where j in range filter so range filters. Okay. Okay. So and then also we can run the CV2 name windows. Sorry, CV2 create a uh, track bar. I mean, and then okay. Okay. So next is to to create some of the track bars. So because the range filter is basically the the, uh, the parameters or, or the, the parameters value. For example, if you using HSV, then uh, we can uh, set there are six parameters in range filters. So, and then they're trying to loop it 
and then create track bar for each so basically in our windows later we, will, we can see uh, there are six uh, parameters value that we can adjust all right so we can set it like um using a version 3 s as a string so yeah okay like this and then probably we would like to make it okay okay and also i set the name is as a track bars So I think we're done for the to, to, to set up track bars here. Okay, and then the next one is because we want to make it uh, set up uh, from this comment line as the argument, and then pass it into the our program. So we want to set the def get argument here. Okay, so so the argument is basically depends on what you want to uh, users use uh, kind of a something like parameter to be passed to your program or it can maybe more dynamic based on this one so for the first one I want I want to make uh, the first argument as the on uh, the filter because we will have uh, some option for the filter such as the RGB and HSP filter so I will try to explain what's the difference between those of two but uh, I would like to explain it later in the next chapter okay, okay so we add argument we can set it make it like that for probably yeah as a filter and then uh, we can also make the optional two two ways you can use the dash app or dash dash filter so, so we can make it like that true because it has to uh define any kind of a uh, range filter so i also have writing help here like a range filter okay so range filter, probably. just make it short <laughs> you can write down more to have a lot of some people to understand about this oh sorry i, I think i need to edit more uh, description so range filter should be the option is uh, rgb or hsv so the next one is um, uh, we can make it uh, some options whether the user want to adjust the color of the, uh, the, the clock with the webcam or with the uh, input from the image. So first, uh, if the user want to make it uh, the clock image from the image uh, based on the uh, based on the file that they have. So we can make a, a sub option like this. So it's required. It's actually not required, right? Because yeah. Okay, so we can write the help here as um, okay path to the image. Sorry. Okay. Cool. All right. So and the next one is of course uh, the argument if we want to make it from the webcam so maybe we can set this w as the webcam so we can uh, set the other option as the dash dash webcam and then i think the required should be as oh no it should be false the same as before and the help is actually we can set it to use webcam yeah. cool all right so Okay, so I think we're good to go. But if we, uh, this argument is basically only store true or false. But this argument previously it will store the path of the image. So we would like to add the action is store true. Okay, I think we're good to go. Sorry, uh, there will be a quote here. Okay. All right. So okay. All right. And then the okay the other argument I would like to make it more dynamic, like whether we would like to show the preview or not. I mean the preview of our uh, 
uh, our change based on the uh, track bars. If we change the track bars to the low or to the high, then uh, there's a, some preview image or or video based on the uh, webcam. So I think we can make it uh, show up, up here or not. Okay, so let's add it. It's a preview. Okay. Oh, so it's not necessary to do that. Then, okay, so we can set it as a show a preview of the image after applying the mask. Cool. And then it's also the same as before. So the action is true because only there's a stored true or false. Okay, so I think we're good to go, and then we start the to run the arguments, and then it arcs itself. I put the the, the object as name as arcs, and then this variables ep. Okay, cool. So uh, just leave it empty. Okay, so we are good to go for for get arguments. Anyway, I think we missed something. We don't finish it, so we need to return the arcs itself. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so let's check again. Okay, because uh, we set it as true, so if uh, if it's somebody trying to make it up this side or not RGB, neither HSV. So we need to filter it. So we need to make a conditional input. If somebody doesn't uh, input the correct way, then we can show the error. Okay. So, okay. Let me show you how to do that. Oh, sorry. It's a filter. Filter. Um, so I make it. Um, okay. So. So I think we don't have to use XOR. Okay, so this way is also okay. So it's not boolean because it's not storing true or false. Okay, sorry for that. Okay, so we can set the upper because uh, the RGB. Uh, we need to check in one whether it's upper or lower. So it just just make it upper. Okay. RGB or HSV. So that means if you fill it uh, not in these two, so uh, there will be error showing in your programs. So I will uh, write down the error is please specify um, a correct filter. Okay, let's go. All right, so. And also, I think we need to make it um, one more condition is uh, for the input because the input will, we have uh, two kind of options. First is from the image, or the second one from the webcam. Uh, since we set it as false, the user can uh, just uh, skip this kind of options. So there will be no input. So to do to avoid that one, so we need to force the users. To use whether they want to use with the image or webcam. Uh, to do that, we can use the with X or this time is okay, correct with the X or because uh, we can set it as, as the uh, exclusive or operator. Okay, so because I will do uh, image, image is a boolean, so I think we can set it as bool here. So, hmm. so we would like to check uh, whether the, the, the true or false value. So we would like to set it as a boolean. Okay, we, we treat the same way with the uh, um, webcam. Because if the webcam is uh, set, set as the argument, so it will return true as the boolean otherwise they will set it false if both is false then 
and we'll return the error. Sorry. So it's always happened because I I am using the, the Japanese keyboard sometimes some character is the in the different positions. <laughs> Sorry for a lot of typo here. Okay, so the error maybe we can define what as to please specify only one image source. Because uh, if a user wants to make it two uh, image source, that will be also uh, one of the problems. So we just want to make it one. Okay, that's cool. So we're done here for the argument so. Okay. So now we would like to set the uh, trackbar value. So we want to save or store the value from the trackbar in some way. So we can define the function as a get trackbar values. Okay, the input is the I think the same as the range filters. Okay. Uh, so we save this the empty array first, and then okay. So the same as the above, we can also from the minimum the maximum right okay so we would like to get the value from that one so we try to flip in as the uh, we, we have uh, the same method like this please so we can just copy and paste here like this. okay let's check again and filter is like okay so mm -hmm. So instead of uh, create a trackbar, so we would like to change it with the, for example, we can set V as the CV2 get um, track bar. Okay, cool. Uh, but uh, I think it's a position. Yes, there is a position here. Okay, and then we can delete here. Okay, that's cool. <coughs> And now we would like to fill the empty array with the value from the S. So we can append V here. Okay. And then later we can return the value empty and uh, the array of the values. Okay, cool. So we're good to go. Okay, now I think we already great have these two, one, two, three, four functions. Now we would like to go with the main function. Okay, so let's start in the main function. I will not uh, explain it further about this, but let me uh, explain it in the other uh, meeting in the next chapter. Sorry, I'll have to type up here. Okay, argument, I think it should be, uh, oh sorry, the argument, I have it in the S. Okay, range filters, yes, uh, it's, it will come from the arts um, filter, and then we make it upper. If uh, if someone write it down in the lower case, then we can make it um, an upper case. So, cool. Okay. Hmm. Now if mm, so now if uh. If someone uh, have the source from the image, okay, let's start from the if someone input it from the image, the argument is image shown there, then, okay, so we will uh, save the image and read the image back from the path. We will use the CVT read to read the, the, the image path. Make sure the path is correct. And then uh, your your pay, your your image is actually in, the, in that path that you assigned. Okay, so after you put the image, then mm, I think um, we would like to detect uh, the range filter. What kind of the range filter that uh, we use? Okay. Sorry, I didn't put that. That's it's good. Okay, for example, okay, if getting more enter if range oh sorry if range filter mm, is RGB 
so uh, we have to uh, front press. Um, you can copy this. Okay. So otherwise, uh, because if it's RGB, it's okay. We don't have to uh, change it to the other format because by default it's already an RGB. So if in, uh, the format is the in HSV, so we need to convert it by using this. Okay. So you can see with the color. Okay, so we will uh, convert the color uh, format from the uh, RGB. Oops, sorry, color to HSV. Okay. Right. So that's the image loader if the input source from the image otherwise the input is coming from the webcam so we need to set up or to initialize the, the camera webcam your driver from the python code we can use the cv2 video capture and then you can assign any kind of uh, your camera here okay so and then also let me check it. case if you don't have a so okay let me try to explain it very quick so this one is basically the device number of the webcam if the device number is not detected so you will use the default webcam as a zero if you have two uh, webcam you will you will have, have a this number one otherwise if you only have one then device number will be set as the default as zero so let me make it as the condition here if the camera read um, from zero, yes, it's actually false. So there is no image capture. So I will change the camera object as the CV2 video capture, just in case you, you only have one. In my case, I have uh, two cameras, so I will also use the one. But in your case, maybe probably you only have one camera. So I will write down this kind of condition. And then uh, we will start the set of track bars running these track bars by using the range this range filter. Okay, cool. <clears throat> now we we will start to uh, uh, to run uh, the windows until you execute or exit. So to do that, we can set this a while true. So if the arguments, as you mentioned in the above, is using webcam. Okay, so the output from this one is the return status and also the image frame. So we need to store it in different variables. We need to read the camera every time the loop is running. Okay, so if uh, the return is one. If the status is false, that means the camera is inactive. So we need to, to, to stop running this program. To do that, we can set this as this one. If uh, the return is false, then we need to break it. The program will be stopped. Okay, so next. Um, Yep, I think we want to do the same thing for this one. We just want to make sure that uh, the frame is coming from the webcam is actually the RGB or uh, the HSP. So we can make it the same way. As the uh, above. Definitely, you can copy and paste from the above. So, but I, I actually uh, like to write it down. Okay, cool. Sorry. 
Okay, so now we're good. Sorry, I think we have some of the... So, okay, this one should be inside of this if... Break it, so... We need to make it inside of this one because Python is uh, very sensitive for the tabulation. Okay. Okay, so now we would like to get the value from the trackbar. So we would like to set as the V1 minimum, V2 minimum, and then V3 minimum because uh, the RGB color has a three color code. We run it and then for the best the range filter that we have. Okay, and then mm. okay, so yeah, I think we're good. And then we would like now to set up a threshold. Okay, so the threshold. So this is if it's a in range. I will explain why we need to use in range in the next um, session. So we would like to set up the so minimum, minimum value, and the second parameter is the maximum value. Copy and paste here. Okay, cool. Okay. Now we would like to set if the argument you said preview. Okay, in the above you set as preview. Right, so we can show the preview. Sorry, by uh, doing this um, differentiated color by the operation of bitwise and I will explain it later. We can show it with this. And okay. Uh, you can make a title as one, but now I try to make the title as preview and then show the preview content. If the preview is false, means we, we don't want to show it. Just showing the original one. Oops, sorry, <laughs> I typed it wrong way. The variable of the original one is the image, and from the image, and then also the image. The other one is the threshold. Okay. All right, so I think we are good. We already done to write it down the main function here. Okay, and mm, I think one more. If we want to execute it with the, some key, for example, if you uh, click the Q button on your keyboard, then the windows will be collapsed or closed. So to do that is that we need to wait using wait key function. Yep. And then um, let me check with if I type it correctly. Let let, let it try. Yes. Okay, we're using the word, the word of the keyboard. We'll translate into the ASCII code from the Q button. Mm. Okay, let me check. Um. Okay, so um, I think we are not done enough because uh, the output, uh, the output from the value, this one V1 min, min, V2 min, V3 min until V3 max is not uh, safe yet so we need to save it uh, into the pickle because we already have a pickle library oh not yet so let me add uh, some, some import pickle here okay mm, 
and I think we also missed the one argument. I mean, one library here because we also using the export, so we have to import. Sorry, from operator import. Okay, so we're back again to down, and then we want to save all the values into the pickle format. So we will store the value inside of D. So it's a V1. Okay, just copy and paste. This is too much. So now we'd like to open the file. Okay, name the file. I think it depends on what you want. So I pick it like a range pickle. So it's range dot pickle. So we make it like a right binary, and then we make it as the privilege f, and then the pickle will be done. Okay, like this. Okay, now we try to break. The break means. Uh, we will stop the function, the, the, the windows. Now we will make it as the main function to run automatically when we call the function. We call the uh, Python code from uh, the, command, the command line. Okay, so I think we will have to go. Alright, so now we can try um, we can try the so. now we can try the um, the, the determine the py so to do that you can um, activate terminal Okay, you have the data in the py in mind, the PY, but the main the PY is still empty. So let's make it better. And then for this one, I already prepared the uh, virtual environment. And then let, if you want to make it, it's okay, but it's not necessary to have for using the conda. Okay, so, so let me using this uh, color uh, I will take my clock here all right so let's run to run that one we can python determine and then the argument is app is I try to use answer HHV you can try using RGB and also the, the webcam Okay, there is an error here. So let's check what kind of error in the line 12. That's invalid syntax. Oh, sorry. So it must be there's I in here. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Okay, there's also the same error happening here. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think it's also the same. Run again. Okay, so a lot of errors here. Okay, so if range for the line 69, line 69. Okay, it should be a dot. Okay, let's check in the line 21. There's an error syntax keyword. It cannot be an expression. 21 okay. Let's check it Yeah, that's not what Oh, this one should be in the lower case So let's try again Oh, 
sorry for that. So okay, I think I found this one. It should be comma, not dot. Okay, cool. So let's try again. Okay, we got uh, the error. This one. Let's check the, the, the line seventy-three. Okay, so I think I mistyped it here. It should be trick bar, get trick bar value. Okay, so I think there is an error. They cannot find the name. I don't know. Okay, so I think there will be some case sensitive here. So we need to make it uppercase with the B. Okay, I think we're good. Thing still, we need to make it straight bars. Okay. Now we can see the program is running. So okay, let me show you. Okay, so so this clock is the green one. So if you put it like this way, and then make sure the threshold, the background one is to uh, black and then the clock that you want to use is white so let me show you the example so okay so make sure the background the whole background that is the black and then the other one is the white I mean the, the clock one so as you can see the clock should be white and then the other of the clock should be black so you can set or adjust by yourself like this and okay Okay, to dump into the female. Okay, we need to drop. Yeah, you can make it more perfect if there is no light in the background, like like what I have now. I have a back light, so if you can have like a perfect room, so you can make all the uh, the green color to become white. So this first step you already achieve. Uh, you can make a first um, invisible clock from here but it's only the first step second step you, you can write the main function from, from now okay cool now we can stop by clicking the by the pressing the button Q and then we, we need to write down the um, the main function oh, sorry the main module but before that one, uh, as you can see here, the range pickle is already you already have it here because it will be exported once you you're done to set up uh, the, the, the the track bars. Okay, now we need to run the main one. Okay, so as the main one, so I want to make it um, more faster. So let me skip some of the explanation because it's almost the same like uh, the other module okay. so I want to use the OpenCV here and also NumPy and also to import the pickle okay now open the pickle first the name is the range, the pickle. Mm -hmm. to read the binary. And uh, then read as F and then put it as TNT pickle. Load F. Okay. Now we would like to set the variable lower. Okay. So lower color. Is it all? P array starting from a T zero until T two and upper color so in P arrays. Oops, sorry. Okay. 
starting from 3, 4, and 5. Now we would like to open the camera, of course. Like the previous one, we use the feature capture. And then the, I can set this as the default. You can set the device uh, number based on your uh, like camera availability and then put a slip because otherwise you, uh, your camera will be running very fast. Maybe uh, I will put a slip every 3 seconds. So the background is basically one of the important part here because you want to initialize to, to keep the capture, uh, to capture the, the, the background because uh, the background will be determined uh, if the background is not captured at the beginning so your existing uh, still there even though mm, the green clock is already covered yourself so your, your image will be there not the background image okay I will, I will show you later <laughs> in the with the image or with the video how does it work So I want to make it in range maybe 50 seconds. Yeah, okay, so for the background we'll capture initially and then as a because the camera of yours might be not uh, mirroring your image, so I would like to intend to mirror it by flipping the image the axis of one. This would be like the mirroring in the Y image, uh, so Y axis. Okay, now we're good to go. Now we set the while through to running the camera all the time, as long as the program is running. So it's the same, we would like to make it uh, to capture the image from the camera and then flip the image because the image might be not mirroring yours. Okay, and then Okay, so uh, mostly we will use the SSP here. How will I explain why I prefer using SSP uh, rather than RGB later in the next uh, chapter? Uh, so to do that, we need to convert the, the color from the RGB. The, the default one is the RGB to HSP. This one. Okay, cool. And then we define the max. Okay. So the max must be in range in HSV form in HSV image, and then the the, uh, the the range will be in the lower from the lower column color into the upper color. Okay. So we will create the max. Uh, we we can we will create the max one and max 2 and then combine both with the background and then boom we will get um, the invisibility clock so to do that let me do it very fast so we'll use the cp2 morphology x i will explain what it is later so uh, if i remember correctly so it should be like morph And then also we can have a dummy with the ones. The size should be three dimensionality, and then also we put the uh, as the uh, format. Let's put it again. With the same, but with a different method. I will let it dilate it. Okay, and then the dummy ones, the same dimension they should be. Okay, okay, so I think there's some. Okay, three dimension D with. Yes, okay, cool. Now we're creating the max 2. So the max 2 is basically coming from the max 1. But with the bitwise uh, and sorry, bitwise not. So we'll separate some of the um, 
on the color between 0 and 1 and then the result one that I would like to copy uh, the CV2 uh, but we're using the bitwise and using the first image before I change it to the um, SV uh, should be max 2 and then the result 2 is actually the max uh, 2 is coming from the uh, yes this uh, background so I'm going to combine the background with the uh, the mask itself and mask is basically should be max 1 okay okay so I think we're good to go now for the final one we can combine both by using the CV2 uh, aid Wait, good. Um, that's one. That's the one. And there's the two with the zero. And then we can show it. Oh, you can, you, you can make your title as an Hubby. A show. Okay. You can name it as you want. And then make it wait. Uh, execute with this key. Now I think we're good to go. Now after you uh, generate the range pixel, you can easily uh, running the code of the main P1 and probably you can see uh, some results for me. So let's, let me try to run Python and P1. Okay, so some error here. Okay, there is an. T zero T. Okay, let me try to check it. Okay, so I think because it took like a one to the portion argument, I think we make it something wrong here. Okay, so the, the array should be inside of the this bracket. Okay. Yep. I think it's okay now. Oops. We set the time here, but we don't import it yet because we want to freeze it for three seconds, right? In here, so I think we need to import time. Okay, cool. Now I'll try again. Now I has to attribute of the yes. Let me check, maybe there's some typo here. Oh, it should be once, not both. Yes, sorry for that. Okay, let's try again. Okay, so maybe you can see there's some uh, a blur or some pixel area here, but as you can see, yeah. So if you try to copy yourself by this one, so you can see yourself. So to do that, so uh, you can stop running by con by uh, pressing Ctrl C. You need to disappear from the camera for several seconds, like this. Running this, and then you need to disappear from the camera. Okay, the camera is uh, basically there is no you there. I think it's okay to come back in front of the camera. So when I come back in front of the camera, I bring your a uh, green clock as you can see here you can see myself is transparent okay like this so maybe it's it's not a bad result but i will show you the demo in a very good environment